consider the following two events portfolio earns a return of 12% a portfolio earns a return below 12% these events are select one of the following options exhaustive but not mutually exclusive mutually exclusive and exhaustive mutually exclusive but not exhaustive let's call them as a b and c what should be the answer the answer would be c because we can earn 12 or we can earn less than 12 or we can also earn more than 12 so since the in the given we have only two possibilities it is not exhaustive exhaustive means everything every possible scenario but it is a mutually exclusive because if you are earning less than 12 you cannot earn 12 so this is your answer you have to calculate probability based on the odds the odds given in favor are 1 by 6 that means if there are seven events once you would be successful six times you would not be successful therefore probability is 1 divided by 7 that would give us 14.28% going further an economist states that the probability of having gdp of a country higher than 4% is 0.2 what is the odd against a gdp higher than 4% Yes the probability of 20% can be written as 1 divided by 5 that means if there are 5 events at once you would be successful that means odds in favor would be 1 is to 4 and odds against would be 4 is to 1 and therefore the answer would be 4 to 1 moving further the probability of jack playing matches is plays first match plays second match does not play first match does not play second match okay so we have a probability quadrant here using the information calculate the probability that jack wins both the matches wins both the matches so we'll have to make an assumption here since nothing is given probability of winning we are going to assume as 50% which would be a rational assumption so to win both the matches the first condition is that we should play both of them playing both the matches probability is 29% then winning the first one probability 50% and we also have to win the second one 50% so let's let's see how much is that 0.29 into 0.5 into 0.5 7.25 and therefore the answer is 0.0725 moving further you have applied for masters degree in stern business school in oxford probability that you will get a call from sbs is 0.7 oxford is 0.50 assuming that these are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events what is the probability that you will get a call from at least one university so since we want probability of at least one we will say 70 plus 50 minus the common area of these two which would be 35 so 120 minus 35 which would be 85 another way of solving this is probability of not getting admission in sbs is 30 not getting admission in oxford is 50 not getting admission in both of them 15 therefore getting at least one of them would be again 85 probability so this is uh, 70% this is 50% 
there is a common area between two which is counted twice common area is of 35 we want probability of at least one that means either or or we know whenever we use word or we are going to use the addition sign so 50 plus 70 but this common area has been counted twice so we have to remove that which is 50 into 70 35 percent so minus 35 that would be 120 minus 35 85 or second way of doing this is probability that you would not get a call 30 probability that you would not get a call 50 probability that you would not get a call from both is 15 percent therefore probability that you would get a call from at least one of them is 85 percent next one as an investment analyst you build models for forecasting EPS of stocks you cover today you are analyzing Rockefeller Corp the historical records show that in 60% of the recent quarters Rockefeller EPS has increased sequentially and 40% of the recent quarters EPS has decreased or remained unchanged sequentially what is the probability that EPS will increase in next two quarters so you want it to increase first and you want to increase it to you want it to increase again so 60% into 60% it would be 36% next one Alex has developed a stock screen a set of criteria for selecting stocks he has decided that S&P 500 will be his investment universe also he believes that the criteria are independent of each other and capture different aspects of the selection problem criteria A, B, C, D, E fraction of S&P 500 stock meeting criterion how many stocks will pass the screen developed by Alex ok so how many stocks do we have under this scrutiny we have 500 stocks only 45 percent would get selected with criteria A F remaining 57 would be selected with criteria B so we have to see that how many stocks would be filtered out after having put all the criteria. so let's use a calculator 500 into 0.45 into 0.57 into 0 0.50 into 0.25 into point six seven this is ten point seven four and therefore the answer would be ten because we have to see the stocks which fulfill all the criteria so we can't round it off to the next number we'll round it off to the lower number which would be ten point seven four going further all right next question a probability distribution for Hutching Corp's EPS for the current fiscal year is given. Yeah, calculate expected value of this EPS. So expected value is simply going to be the weighted average. So we can simply use the stat function of your calculator to do it fast. Second 7, second clear work. You can say 0.22 is your X values and 5.2 is your Y values. 0.14 as x, 4.9 as y, 0.42 as x, 4.4 as y, 0.22 as x and 4 as y. Then say second and 8 and search for summation xy. The summation xy is nothing but the weighted average. So that will directly give us 4. Point Five five, which is the last option here. Should we go ahead? Moving further. In the previous example, we calculated the expected value as four point five five. Had we read this for earlier. Now we want to measure the dispersion around our forecast. Current fiscal data is as under. Is it the same? the variance and the standard deviation 
of EPS for the current fiscal year is closes to. So now we have a probability data and we've been asked to calculate a variance. So again we can use data function but we'll have to make some small adjustments to our data function. So enter second and seven then say second and clear work. Now the probability values as a full number will go in Y and the EPS values will go in X. So this is 5.2 enter Y1 we will say as 22 4.9 enter Y2 would be 14 4.4 4 enter Y3 would be 42 and 4 enter Y4 would be 22. Once you've inserted all the values then say second and 8 and change yourself to one variable. So second set, second set, second set, second set it will bring you to 1 dash V. Make sure that N is a round figure either 100 or 1000 or 10,000. So in this case since we multiplied with 100 the total was 100. The sigma x is 0.433 so now let's look for options. Yes the standard deviation is going to be 0.43 and square of this value is going to be 0.1879 that means the correct answer here is B which is here. Moving further you are evaluating the prospects of recovering principal amount for a defaulted bond issue probability of 0.65 and will result in recovery of 0.75 per principal value with the probability of 0 0.30 or in recovery of 0 0.50 with the probability of 0 0.70 probability of 0.35 and will result in recovery of 0 0.80 or recovery of 0.35 with probability of 0.75 compute the probability of each of the four possible amounts. So to solve this we are going to build a simple binomial tree. There are two situations. Situation 1 has a probability of 65. Situation 2 has a probability of 35. In situation 1 the probability to recover 0 0.75 is 30%. So 30% and dollar 0.75 and the probability to recover dollar 0 0.50 is 70%. In situation 2 the probability to recover 0 0.80 is 25% and to recover 0 0.35 is 75%. The question has asked us to calculate the joint probability at each of the node. So 65 into 30 percent. So 65 into 0.3. This would be 19.5. 65 into 0 0.7. 45.5. 35 into 0.25, 8.75 and 35 into 0.75 would be 26.25. So these are the final probabilities we have 19.5, 45.5, 8 8.75 and 26.25. That means the answer would be C. Moving further, <coughs> Joey is an investor in green farm stock. Company has recently announced that it will expand the factory capacity in India and Bangladesh. Is it Joey? No. Joy? Joey? Joey is now analyzing the likelihood of this announcement. The probability that EPS exceeds expectation is 0.4, meet expectation is 0.45 
and fall short of expectation is 0.15 the following conditional probabilities are also available green firm expands to eps exceeds expands to eps meets expands to eps fell short the updated probability that prior quarter's eps exceeds the expectation is closest to has it expanded yeah it is recently announced that it has expanded so again we can solve this using a binomial tree it's a question of updated probability so it exceeds the expectation is 40 percent it meeting the expectation is 45 percent and it will fall short of the expectation is 15 percent probability that it would expand in the exceed scenario would be 85 percent it will expand in meeting scenario so probability it would expand here is 10 percent and the probability that it would expand here is 5 percent so we can calculate joint probability of each one of them 85 into point 0.4 34 45 into 10 4 and a half 15 into 5 would be 0.75 percent now we know that it has expanded they've asked us the probability that it exceeded the expectation so 34 divided by 34 plus 4 and a half plus 0.75 so 34 divided by bracket open 34 plus 4.5 plus 0.75 it would be 86.62 which would be 87 the solution so the only difference in this question was that instead of two nodes initially we had three nodes but it was still a binomial event because exceed or not exceed scenario An investment guide ranked 20 securities